Well, it's basketball time once again. Welcome to the 2022 Lone Star Conference Basketball Media Days. On behalf of Lone Star Conference at Lubbock Christian University, I'm Chris Dewar, joined by Todd Duncan, the head basketball coach for LCU Men's Basketball. Coach, uh, th thanks for joining us, getting ready for another season, but let's jump right into it. What are your expectations for this year? Well, I think the same as every year. You just want to go as far as you can. I think each year we try to extend a little bit what's happened or in the past. Obviously, we have a lot of new faces, but yet I don't think our expectations need to change. Uh, there's no question we lost some very talented and important pieces to our, our ball club, but yet every year, um, if you have a solid program, that's going to be the case. So just try to, to reload, so to speak, and uh, continue to set the bar high, and, and hopefully we can have another special year, um, contend for a conference championship, and make a deep playoff run. Obviously, in the Lone Star. That's easier said than done, but that's going to be the goal, and that's why we're working hard. Coach, you, you've had some of those names in the past and uh, that have been conference player of the years that you've lost, and you think, oh no, how do I replace an individual? And you've been able to do so, but now with Parker Hicks gone, who are some of the names on this year's squad that, uh, that has a chance to, to fill that void and claim those conference honors? Well, I always say every team has a leading score, um, but really you just need that guy plus a bunch of others to be special in terms of the type year you have and and to have the success long term going into a deep run. But obviously Rowan McKenzie, um, I think will need to step up and really take some of the void that those guys left. And then other guys that we've brought in like a Najib Muhammad or a Aaron Gonzalez who you know had a limited role as a freshman or really has come on and and really just a lot of the newcomers are going to have to step up and that's kind of the mystery of it and what makes it exciting but I think those guys are excited to, to fill in some of those shoes and you know we're not pretending that those aren't big losses but yet this season's here and every team loses good players um, so every team could make an excuse here or there about what they're missing or what they don't have and we just have to get ready to roll with the guys we have and we're excited about them they've been very enjoyable to work with their work ethic their um, just the community and the culture that we feel like we've we've established pretty quickly is has been good to see but once the ball gets tossed in November you know we're gonna find out where we're at but um, you know, the, the excitement and enthusiasm is definitely there. Coach, when you look around the Lone Star Conference, what do you see as those, those hurdles? What kind of makeup of a team do you need, not just to perform yourself, but because of the makeup of the conference? Well, you don't get a night off in the Lone Star, regardless of preseason ranking or you know, there's the usual suspects that are always going to be good and you just kind of know that you're going to have to get through them if you're going to go somewhere special. Um, but I just think it's uh, preparing for a, uh, the gauntlet of night in, night out. And if you don't, if you um, start looking past somebody or thinking you get a night off, you're, you're going to get beat. There's just, whether you're home, on the road, there's never a night that's just circled where if we show up, this will be an easy win. Um, I truly believe that. I believe it since, you know, we've been in this league and and I think this year is no different I think that um, there aren't any games that I would predict you know or be shocked if, if one team beat another that's what makes it fun and and really makes us have to to be prepared like I've mentioned well answering questions next is Rowan McKenzie talk about Rowan and you mentioned him earlier the about the role that he needs to step up into but talk about the player he has been for you in the past and and what you like about his game going into this year well, you just seen him each year take another step in terms of maybe coming in just being a support player. Um, then last year, obviously, his role um, was very important to our success. And now with some of those other guys kind of being one of the lone returners that played significant minutes, we just see that he's going to have to to carry the load for us on both ends of the floor. He's an underrated defender, I think. He's obviously a great shooter, um, creator, moves well without the ball. Um, he just brings a lot of experience. So I think his voice in the locker room, his ability to lead some of the younger guys, and, and really when we go into some of these battles, you know, the coach is saying one thing, but when you got guys in the locker room are kind of backing it up and confirming and, and reiterating what you're saying, that's an important piece for these young guys to, to start to learn to trust and, and to understand, you know, how tough each game is going to be. Thanks, Coach. And the man that he was alluding to was Rowan McKenzie here on the LSC Online Media Days. And, and Rowan, thanks for joining us.
talk about going into this year. Some of the things you've noticed through the practices and the preparation, get ready for this upcoming season. Is this, a, as things progress, hey, practices are always going to be the same. Coach Duncan's always the same. But when you look around and the teammates you have, the X's and O's you're going through, has much changed? Yeah, well, definitely starting with all the players. I mean, we've got a whole new group of guys. Um, we have six freshmen this year, so everyone's, you know, getting used to our system, getting used to the offense and how we play defense, the pack line and stuff. So it's going to be an interesting year, but they're all hard workers and they get in every day. So it's a good group of guys and it's going to be a lot of fun. Playing with Coach Duncan and his system, uh, what's harder to adjust to the offensive side or the defensive side? Um, I think offense, I think just the motion offense that we run isn't um, run by a lot of teams nowadays. Um, and then we just really value the ball and try and get a good shot each possession. So just adjusting to that, taking the right shots, being in the right spot, and then just creating for each other. It's, it's a lot of fun though, once we get the hang of it, which I think we are starting to get the hang of it. Well, more on this, this coaching staff and what they provide to you guys as a team. You know, academics are, are big, you know, and of course you hear when other programs do good academically, it gets noticeable just like a, an on, a, you know, a, a win on the court. And, you know, the men's basketball program has done a great job in the academics. Talk about some of the things the coaches do to help you guys with your academics. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, they invite us into the office every day. They they get us to do some study hall hours together. Um, we uh, get studying together. They tell us to get into the tutors and the writing center and use all the available resources. So they're a lot of help and definitely uh, pushing us in the classroom as much as they are on the court. People back home in Australia, when they they call you and say, "Hey, what's 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 the Lone Star Conference like? Well, what type, you know, the quality of basketball? How, what do you tell them?" Yeah, um, Lone Star's I think one of the best um, D2 conferences, if not the best. Um, and I just tell them that every day, you know, you got to bring bring your best to the to the table, or any team can beat you. And it's such a such a fun and close league that all the teams, you know, one night it can it can all just turn because they're having their night, and we just got to be switched on and ready to play every day. But it's a lot of fun. It's really competitive. Um, even our practices are really competitive, and the guys. I think the guys going into the season know that it's going to be a, a tough year just to be able to have the mindset that every game we're gonna we know we can win but we have to be switched on and every team's gonna put their best foot forward so your mom came last year she came i think when she got here it was right in the postseason uh, uh what were some of her impressions like what's the parent perception when they <laughs> when, when they come watch uh, the college basketball because because in most international uh environments College basketball is not a big deal. It's all clubs. It's all academies. Uh, so, you know, they're not used to a, a school system having an athletic program. So w what's their impressions? Yeah, um, mom, she's a she's a big time sports fan. So she loved it. I mean, she loves every second of um, sports. She loves the band. She loves the atmosphere. She loves how it's um, refereed and um, just the kind of detail that goes into every game. You know, the film, the scout, the trainings, um, the walkthroughs, just everything that goes into it. She loves, she appreciates. Um, and just she loved being around all the guys. You know, it's a great group of guys, great coaching stuff. So. She loves it. And, it, and you're right, it is a lot different to Australia and how it's run and um, yeah. Well, hopefully she has some good stuff to cheer about this season. Best of luck this year. Thank you, appreciate it.